In this video, we're going to be installing Manim. And I'm pretty sure you already know what Manim is, given that you clicked on this video. But I'm just going to go over the six-ish steps to take to install this beast. Because really, I'd say the hardest part about Manim in general is just installing it. But if you just follow the steps along and go through everything, you shouldn't have a problem. And if you do have errors, then first, the first step of troubleshooting, I would say, is to Google it. And then after Googling it, if you can't find it, then leave a comment in the description below and I'll try to reach you. So the first step you want to do is we're going to download LaTeX. In your search bar, just Google MicTech. And MicTech is kind of like, it just packages LaTeX along with some other uh, packaging systems because LaTeX by itself is just how you make documents and how you do symbols, but it comes with other stuff as well. Just Google MicTech, go on their website, and then you're gonna to go to all downloads. And then we're gonna be downloading the net installer. And as you can see, there's two versions based on your computer's architecture. And mine is 64 bit, but if you don't know your computer's architecture, just go to your start menu and click system information. And then based on system type, it should just tell you right there, mine is x64 based. So I'm gonna be downloading the 64 bit installer. And then once you have that downloaded, we're just gonna open it up and run as administrator. And if Windows decides to give you any SAS, then just click run anyway because it's, I promise you it, it'll, it'll work. All right, and then this window should pop up and then click next. And for this step, we're gonna be downloading MicTech. We will install it. And it's gonna be downloaded on your computer from a, um, it's actually gonna be from a server somewhere else. And complete, I these are mine, but just click any of them really and they're going to connect to your computer and they're going to download it on there. And I'm just going to do the first one. It really doesn't matter. And then once you have that, you're going to pick a place to install it. So it, it really doesn't matter that much as long as it doesn't change. So I'm just going to, in my local C drive, I'm just going to create a new folder called Mick. If I can spell it right, Mick Tech. Pretty sure the K is capitalized. Okay. And then next, and then start. Make sure to make a folder when you do this, because if you just install it directly to your C drive, then it's gonna put all the packages on your C drive and it's gonna get you really confused. But yeah, so once you, once you made the folder, and once this is installing, this, this is gonna probably take like at least five to 10 minutes, depending on your connection. So just sit tight and wait, maybe open up something else and yeah. All right, so that took me about like 20, 20, 30, 40 minutes. So don't worry if it took you a long time, it's fine. So then when it's done, you click next and then you click close. And now you have the MicTech packages or the LaTeX packages on your machine. So now what you wanna do is you wanna open up the setup again preferably run as administrator. And then you click I accept, next. But this time, instead of clicking download, you're gonna click install. Since we already downloaded MicTech from the server onto our own computer, so now from that same... Um... All right, I'm back. So um, if, if you had any problems with installing, like if you had any crashes from the window before, then I'm gonna link an older installer in, in the description below. It works perfectly fine now. But if it didn't crash, then that's good for you. Just make sure you click install, go to next, complete. Uh, doesn't matter, just install all. And then you're gonna go to browse, and then you're gonna go to your, wherever you installed MicTech. So we installed it in our C drive and I named it MicTech. I'm gonna click OK, I'm gonna click Next. And then this is gonna install MicTech to another um, folder, just leave it as it is. Don't touch any of this if you know what you're doing. 
and then start. And then this is gonna install MCTEC from the downloader we installed. It's essentially kind of like what we did for this setup where we downloaded from the website onto our computer. Now we're gonna just set it up and just wait for this to set up. And yeah, now it's finished. You're gonna click next. And really that's it. Now you have um, LaTeX installed and you can even prove it. There's even LaTeXworks and MCTEC console. You can mess around with that if you want. But yeah, now we have LaTeX installed. All right, now step two is installing Python as well as pip. Man, the way you program man to man animations is in the language of Python. So if you are, don't already have it installed on your computer, you just look up Python on Google and go to the downloads page and click download for Windows and you should get an installer. And I already have it in the newest version installed, but you'll just go through the setup if you're doing it for the first time. If you have an older version of Python, I do recommend obviously updating to the newest version. Any 3.8 version is fine. And when you go through this, I can't really show you here, but when you go through this for the first time, there's gonna be an option that says add to path variable. And you're gonna make sure you click that option because it allows you to access Python from the command line window. And if there's an option that says uh, install pip as well, I'd click that as well. And the way to test out if you've installed Python correctly is you just go to your command terminal, type in Python, and if you see the version as well as the name, then you have it installed, everything's working out. All right, now we have Python and pip installed. The third step is to install ffmpeg. And ffm, you can just look it up on Google or go in the description below. ffmpeg is pretty much just how Menem converts your program into a video format and how like the graphics into like an MP4. So you're gonna go on the website here, you're gonna go to Windows and you're gonna, hover over Windows, you're going to click on Windows Builds. And then from here, Architecture, you're going to choose which architecture you have. I'm 64, so I'm just going to choose 64-bit. And then you're going to click Download Build. All right, so now that you have FFmpeg downloaded, you're going to right click and extract it. And then once you ex extract it, you're going to open it up here. And with this folder, it's going to be really important. So you then go to your local C drive and we're pretty much just gonna add this as a path variable. And similar to what we did with MCTEC, we're gonna create a new folder. Uh, it, it really doesn't have to be your C drive, honestly. It could just be another hard drive or somewhere else, but make sure FFmpeg is not moved or changed. Otherwise, you're gonna kind of break Manum. So I'm just gonna type FFmpeg. It doesn't really matter how you spell it. You're gonna then just drag it in here. And then you're gonna open this up and you're gonna go to bin. And these are the EXC, these are the application uh, files that our CMD should be able to access. So make sure you copy this from your directory and then go to your start menu and type in environment variables. And it's similar to what we just did with Python but instead of going to variable user variables, I'm just gonna to go to system variables and you're gonna double click path. And hey, there's MCTEC right here. We just installed that. So you're gonna click new and you're gonna just paste that in here. And make sure it says slash bin of the folder that you did, that you installed or downloaded and make sure it can access these exe files. And you're just gonna click okay and then okay, okay. Okay. And the way to test out if this actually works is again, CMD. You're gonna make, you're gonna become good friends with CMD when you use Manum. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna type in FFmpeg. And if you get this stuff that pops up and tells you the version, you got FFmpeg installed and- Congratulations, congratulations. you played yourself. All right, step four is we're gonna be downloading socks. Not, not these kind of socks, this kind of socks. The heck? So yeah, um, you're just gonna click the link in the description below and it'll take you to this SourceForge page and we're gonna need to download socks. And what socks is, is pretty much, um, Manum uses it with to like add in sound, music, and a bunch of other things. 
and it's required even if you don't want to use sal so you're gonna download the extension here the exe file what we're talking about and then this should pop up uh, i'm not gonna do this i'm gonna uncheck this but you can if you want to and this is really important so it's gonna install it in a folder and on your computer and I mean I'm gonna just install this to my C drive just to make things easier because yet again we are gonna have to add this as a path variable so what I would do is just install it as, as the C drive right here click install and then click close and then once again start menu environment system properties you go to environment variables and then under the same path variable for which we installed uh, FFmpeg, I'm gonna click a new, and whoops, I did not copy it, but you can just go to your C drive, click here and copy this, and make sure that when you open the socks folder, you get a bunch of this stuff, and make sure, you, because well, the CMD is gonna open up these things. So yeah, copy that and just, paste it into your path variables. So then this should work in there. I'm gonna click okay, okay, and okay. <laughs> yeah, boy. And if you wanna test it out, you just go to your CMD here as usual, and then you're just gonna type in socks with the X, not with the C, K, S. And if you get this stuff, that means you have successfully installed socks. All right, this next step is gonna be a little weird. Um, you're gonna to go to the description below. The next link is gonna take you to a website called Pcairo. And step five, we're gonna to need to install Pcairo. So this is a really, really big website filled with a lot of stuff that you don't really need. So I'm just gonna control F and type in Pi and then Cairo until you find um, the like heading Pcairo here. And then you should have a bunch of stuff here. And it should be a set of bindings with the Cairo graphics library. And this is like core to Manum as well. And then you're gonna see different versions, CP. Uh, CP just stands for whatever version of Python you have. So I have Python 3.8 and we just installed 3.8. And I am a 64-bit computer, so I'm gonna download this. And then it should give you a wh a .whl file, but yeah. And if you're a 32-bit computer, you're gonna do Win32, and make sure the CP matches whatever version of Python you have. I have no idea why there's a 39, but it's 3.8, 3.9, 3.7. If you have 3.7, download that. And then it should be in your downloads folder right here. And don't double click it because it's a w.wh file. It's nothing's gonna happen. So you're just gonna type in CMD from your downloads folder. And then you're just gonna type in python-m pip install. And then you're just gonna type in PYC or start to type in P Cairo. And you're gonna press tab. And it'll automatically do it so you don't have to type all this out because that would be very annoying. So you click enter and then it's gonna download it and it says it's successfully installed. If it says that, you got Peak Hyro on your system. Good for you. All right, this is step five, the final step. We're almost there, don't worry. So you're gonna go to the description below and click the link and it'll take you to the GitHub page of Manum or you can just, you know, Google Manum and you'll find the, you'll find the GitHub page and then once you're on here, you're gonna click code, download zip, and then it's gonna download the master folder here. And then uh, once again, we're gonna go to our local C and I'm gonna create a folder called Manum. And this is where uh, really the engine is gonna lie. This is where like, you know, the, the main, the meats of it are going to be. So I'm going to drag this into this folder and then I'm gonna extract it here. Here's Mana Master. Oops. And then once you're on Manum, 
Uh, once you created a folder, you're gonna click open, and then you're gonna be here, and you have the you know main program installed. All right, so now that we have Manum installed, the main engine, you're gonna go to the um, root directory of Manum here under Manum Master, and you should have all this. Whoops, you should see this stuff here. You're gonna type in, you're gonna click the the file explorer and type in cmd. And this will open a command prompt. Notice it's going to be Manum, Manum Master. And you could really name these Manum Master and Manum to whatever you want, honestly. Just make sure that you do not include uh, spaces or white space. So yeah, if you're going to do spaces, just do underscore. But then what you're going to want to do is you're going to do python dash m pip install dash r requirements.txt and before you click enter one more thing I forgot you're gonna go to requirements.txt and this command prompts gonna this command is gonna open this up and since we already have P Cairo installed from the website we just did I'm actually gonna delete that and click control s and all these uh, things here when you click enter it's gonna install the rest of them so type this out, click enter. Make sure to, to forget, do not forget to delete P Cairo. And yeah, you just wait for all this stuff to install, download it and install. After that, uh, Manum should be installed and should be working. Congratulations. And to test out that it actually does work and that I'm not just lying, you can type in CMD into the root directory. This is something you'll be, you'll have to do every time you want to run a program, but you're going to type in python-m manum example scenes.py from this Python folder here, and then square to circle, capital T, capital C, and capital S. And you're going to do dash PL, and moment of truth, And if you want to test out another uh, file, I'd recommend just to see how Manum works. Type in python -m -manum example underscore whoops example underscore scenes dot pi. Write stuff with the capital W capital S dash pl, and then it should pop up automatically as like a video. And there we go. We have an infinite sum. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty cool, ain't it?